Trent Kids, I'm Jenny. Why don't you take some time to shout out your name to me? Are you ready? One, two, three. I think we could do it a little bit louder than that. Are you ready? After three, shout out your name as loud as you can. One, two, three. Wow. Well, it is great to have you here with us today. Last week, Becca started a new series looking at a book in the Bible called Acts. And this book is full of adventure stories. So I wondered if you wanted to come on an adventure with me right now. I thought, first of all, we could climb a mountain. Are you ready? Perhaps put your walking boots on and a woolly hat because it's going to be cold at the top. And then we're going to start climbing up to the top of the mountain. And when we get there, we need to have a little look at the view, all the things we can see. Wow. But it's getting a little bit chilly up here at the top of the mountain. So let's go back down. And at the bottom of the mountain, why don't we go on an underwater adventure? Are you ready to dive in with me? Let's dive into the ocean and swim. Look around, drink kids. What can you see? Can you see those beautiful fish? Can you see the octopus? And uh-oh, there's a shark. We have to swim really quickly because that doesn't look like baby shark to me. What should we do now? One last adventure before we have our story. Why don't we get in an aeroplane? Are you ready to be in your aeroplane all around your living room or your kitchen or your bedroom? <gasps> wow, let's go over the rainforest and see what we can see. <gasps> Down there, I can see all kinds of creatures. <laughs> let's come into land now and hear a story about one of Jesus's friends in the book of Acts called Peter, who had so many adventures. Here's Peter's story. Jesus had told Peter to take care of his friends, and he did. Peter took care of Jesus' special friends and his new friends too. They were making more friends for Jesus every day in the city of Jerusalem. It was very exciting. They were like one big, happy family. They had meals together, they said prayers together, and they learned about Jesus. The ones who were rich helped the ones who were poor. They shared everything they had. And God's special helper, the Holy Spirit, was with them all. It was like having Jesus always there, just as he'd promised. Jesus' enemies wanted to stop Peter talking about him, but Peter wouldn't stop. He just went on telling people about Jesus. So they put him in prison. But in the night, God sent an angel to set Peter free. His friends were so surprised to see him. They asked God to help make them all brave and go on telling people about Jesus. And God did make them brave. He wanted them to tell everyone in the world about him. At first, Peter thought God meant his own people, the Jews. God had to send him a special dream to show that he really meant everyone. That same day, three men came to Peter's door. Knock, knock. Captain Cornelius says, please, will you come to his house? The men said. Captain Cornelius was a soldier from Rome, but he loved God. And God had told him to invite Peter to his house. God wanted Peter to tell Captain Cornelius and his friends all about Jesus. So Peter told them everything, right from the beginning up to the dreadful day when Jesus died on a cross. But God brought Jesus back to life, Peter said joyfully. So now you can be his friends too, just like us if you want. And right away, God sent his special helper, the Holy Spirit, to be with these new friends just to show that he really does love everyone in the world. Wow, I just love the book of Acts. I love hearing about stories of people on an adventure with God. But more than that, I want my life to be an adventure with God. Do you? Why don't we shout yes to being on an adventure with God right now? Are you ready? One, two, three, yes! 
and I look forward to hearing over the next couple of weeks more stories about adventures with God. See you soon. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than a skyscraper and He's deeper than a submarine. Thank you, Lord, that life is such a wonderful adventure. And that you are always with us. Ah.